Okay, now I'm ready. Okay, we'll go ahead and call the Johnson City Council uh, meeting number 23-01 to order. Cindy, roll call, please. Councilmember Cope? Here. Evans? Here. Ready? Here. Burkhart? Here. Martin? I want to welcome everyone that is in the audience this evening. If you are here for an item that is on the agenda, we would ask you to wait for that item to come up and address the council at that time. If you're here for an item that is not on the agenda, we would uh, you would have an opportunity under public communications to uh, make comments to the council. The next item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. And we're a little short on audience tonight. We don't have a lot of youth in the audience tonight. However, we do have at least a couple of young people. So would you mind leading, leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. The next item on the agenda is the agenda approval. Mike, do we have any changes to the agenda? Come this evening. Council, any changes? Do we have a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Second. A motion and second. Discussion. Cindy, vote please. Councilmember Evans? Yes. Ready? Yes. Burkhart? Yes. Cope? Yes. Motion passed. Moving on to public communications. We have one public communication this evening, and that is to recognize Olivia Swally for being named the 2022 All Iowa High School Girls Swimmer of the Year. Olivia, do you want to come forward? Well, thank you for being here with us this evening. Thank you. Let's stand over here. I want to apologize. We don't have a lot of people in the audience. <laughs> and we have almost no agenda. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get through this meeting in record time, I believe. <laughs> we do appreciate you being here this evening. Now, one of the things that Janet did uh, in preparation for this meeting, she put together this list of everything that you've accomplished since 2019. And I'm not going to read all of it, but I'll tell you what, this is an, an incredible list. And one of the things that impresses me is that in each year, um, the, the, the number of accomplishments has increased. I mean, in 2019, there was a list, and in 2020, it grew, 2021, it grew, in 2022, uh, a long list. Tell us a little bit about your school career. <laughs> Um, I started swimming at a country club when I was probably seven or eight, and then I just fell in love with it. And then started doing it year round, and it just took off from there. That's that's fantastic. It looks like maybe your favorite stroke or breaststroke. Yeah, I like I like all of them. Okay, I have to like all of them. I do. I am so that's all four strokes. So I definitely start doing it in breaststroke. That's amazing. What of all of the things that you've done as a swimmer, what are you most proud of? Probably getting the state record this year and then getting third place in the state. That that is amazing. You know, I I took up swimming at 60 years old. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, I admire it. I mean, I just think you know swimming is just one of the most amazing sports. I mean it's beautiful to begin with, but it's also just an incredible sport, a lifelong sport, uh, that you can participate in as you're doing your body and healthy for you so good for you for starting at such a young age and hopefully it'll it'll be a lifelong sport for you yes <laughs> so so what are your plans for the future well i'm going to iowa this summer hopefully doing all four years <laughs> hopefully <laughs> <laughs> oh maybe three maybe three and a half <laughs> and, and is is swimming and part of that Is that something that's going to be doing? Oh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's great. Will also be at the Olympics? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yes, yes. I've seen a lot of that. Mm -hmm. 
But we do have a certificate here for you this evening. Just um, congratulating you on being named the 2022 All Iowa High School Sports Team. So I um, know that Janet wants to take a picture here. So we want to invite that to come to the council as well. Yeah, certainly. I don't care. It's whatever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's uh, move on to public hearings. We have no scheduled public hearings this evening. Uh, moving on to the consent agenda. Do we have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second discussion. Cindy, vote please. Councilmember Reddy? Yes. Burkhart? Yes. Cope? Yes. Evans? Yes. Motion passed. We have one item under the non-consent agenda, and that is approval of claims in the amount of $872,648.91. Do we have a motion to approve? Move approval. We have a motion? Second. And a second? Discussion? I got a couple of questions. <laughs> <laughs> it declined. Yes. <laughs> Can you vote, please? Councilmember Burkhart? Yes. Cope? Yes. Evans? Yes. Ready? Yes. Motion passed. City Administrator comments. I don't have any formal comments. I just wanted to send a thank you to our public works staff uh, for their work over the holiday season. You know, we had snow removal bo both before and after Christmas. And I think uh, all our public safety, you know, they're those unsung heroes. Um, but, you know, I do appreciate uh, the work that they put in there over the, the holiday weekend. So thank you. Moving on to uh, city council comments, Councilman Evans. Um, New Year's resolution is to keep these meetings as short as possible. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Reddy, same resolution. <laughs> I just want to thank the public works again um, to keeping the roads clean during that huge snowstorm we had this past week. That was wonderful. It's, it's, I mean, keeping the city moving. I appreciate all you guys doing for everything. Thank you, guys. Councilman Cole. Yeah, I think the only thing I would expand on that too is that you know that that during those several days of incredibly cold weather, where it's pretty easy for citizens who are not city employees and sort of stay bundled up at home, as you're bundled up at home and all of a sudden you hear the the sirens going for uh, whether it's a police vehicle or a fire truck responding to some sort of emergency and, and, and doing that in that incredibly cold, cold weather. 
I just really appreciate those folks uh, who respond at all at all hours you know, under all conditions. Greatly appreciated. I echo all of the uh, previous sentiments. Uh, my only all, uh, kind of suggestion. We have kind of odd meeting dates throughout this month and uh, February as well. If we can double check the city calendar on the website to make sure that they're all reflected as such, um, that would be my only suggestion. So if you can pass that along. And the only thing, only thing that I would add is that I just wanna thank everyone city staff, city council members, and our entire community for stepping up to the plate and, and donating in a big way to the Johnson Partnership in the month of December. Uh, incredible, uh, incredible giving during that month. And, and uh, I'm curious to hear how much more came in today, but you know, um, I'm guessing that we're you know, close to $18,000 that was collected in that short period of time. And obviously the need is very great. So to appreciate uh, everybody's effort in, in making making that possible. So thank you so much. And with that, we have one item left on the agenda and that is closed session per Iowa Code section 21.51C to discuss strategy with council in matters that are presently in litigation or where litigation is eminent, where its disclosure would be likely to prejudice or disadvantage the position of the governmental body in that litigation. Do we have a motion to go into closed session? So moved. Second. <clears throat> motion and a second. Discussion? Cindy, vote please. Councilmember Cope? Yes. Evans? Yes. Ready? Yes. Burkhart? Yes. Motion passed. <clears throat>